hello and welcome so this is a new tutorial to how you can uh, remove your apple id from your iphone or ipad so if you try to sign out then there is asking for password but if you forget your password then you can do it easily so first you have to check uh, you click the icloud option and if you see there have some backup on your icloud then this is the first requirement you need so if there is show then you go here and open the game center if you open the game center and there is not asking the password that's when you are eligible to remove the apple id from this device but if there is asking for password then it's no way to remove all right so now we check there is ios 17.4 so latest ios is supported this method and this is not the proxy method proxy method is not work for latest ios 17 so now I just connect the USB cable because we need computer. You have to do all the next process within 5 to 10 minutes. Otherwise the token will be expired. So now open 3 tools and click backup and restore. And now click manage password and set a password. So I write 1234. Again you write 1234 and set password. Okay. Now you open your phone and go to iCloud again and click iCloud <coughs> show all and uh, open the game center on and off uh, three or four times so this is very important part of the video you have to must turn on and off the game center two three times and then you must have to turn off the Wi-Fi and turn on the aeroplane mode okay now you click backup option so you must have to put your password again 1234 was I was set it and click ok so before backup you must have to turn on and off the game center two three times then you click the backup option ok and before backup you must turn off your Wi-Fi and turn on the aeroplane mode to uh, better work Okay, so here it takes some time it's depend on how much backup you have so I recommend you delete your photos and videos before backup so it will be smaller backup size so it's a uh, three point something for me and it's take two three times to complete the backup so we are just waiting here Okay, so all data is backed up now I just close it and close the three tools and now I open Elcomo software Elcomo phone breaker so now you have to click explore kitchen and then click choose and select the file which was backup right now so it's in document folder then open the folder open again and scroll down below and select this file and choose now you put your password again which was 1234 and click explore and there is take few minutes here now you click this last option select here and export data select categories all categories then select this file on document folder don't rename or don't do something just save it on the document now close it and open the LU open menu tool it's opening okay so it's open and now uh, you just simply click the remove button no need to do anything just click the remove button and wait a moment It's success there is showing the success code is 200 that's mean it's remove and remove success now click ok and copy the serial number and we ensure again to check another website so we open iFree iCloud FMI check so iFree FMI check when you search on Google then this page is appears and click here now paste the serial number 
click the search button and fill up the captcha click very okay so find my device is off so don't turn on your wi-fi before it is when you see it's off then don't turn on your wi-fi please don't turn one i again say so now open the three u2s and go to toolbox here is the toolbox and click erase all data and erase all data and select the tick mark and erase all and it will be erasing so there is taking some time so i just uh, faster take it faster to skip the time and normally it's take three four minutes to erasing properly so we have to wait three four times here okay so everything is done it's removed now we just wait to restoring the phone okay so the phone is now open and there is showing its iCloud log but it's no worries that when I swipe it it will be gone now we just set up it setup process is very easy I think everybody can do it easily okay so data and privacy menu comes that's mean our iCloud is removed there is not asking our iCloud password ID or password that's mean it's removed properly now we just uh, set up it the next next part Okay, so it's removed and we just check again the serial number okay go to general about and this is the serial number and iOS version you see so everything is work properly so you can try this way and you see iCloud status is off on the team tools.